Okay, so uh, let's get started. Um, so welcome everyone to today's MU Zoom seminar. So um, it's really my great pleasure to welcome today's speaker, Dr. Uh, Jian Qingxu from uh, Fudan University. So uh, Jian Qing actually uh, currently is a professor and the pr principal investigator at uh, Institute of Biomedical Sciences uh, in Fudan University. And uh, uh, a very, very brief um, introduction about uh, Dr. Jian Qing Xu. So Jian Qing actually um, completed his uh, undergraduate and uh, master's uh, study in, uh, <clears throat> in China Medical U University in Shenyang. And then afterwards, uh, he pursued his PhD uh, study in microbiology from Beijing uh, Union Medical College and then further uh, pursue his postdoc training in Research Institute for Genetic and Human Therapy affiliated to Georgetown University. And then afterwards appointed as a uh, research assistant professor at Department of uh, Microbiology and Immunology um, uh, in Georgetown uh, University. So um, from uh, 2004, uh, Jianqing decided to uh, to go back to China and then start his independent research program uh, as principal investigator in Center of uh, HIV AIDS Prevention and Control, China CDC. Uh, from 2007, uh, he actually uh, become professor and principal investigator in Fudan University uh, until, uh, until present. So Jian Qing's lab uh, mainly focus um, on T cell biology in viral infection and tumor development. Uh, his main research interest and uh, major achievement, including but not limited in uh, dissect uh, protective immunity and immune pathogenesis during acute and chronic infection, particularly working on HIV, influenza, and uh, COVID-19 clinical cohort to systemically examine innate humoral and uh, cellular immune responses uh, to enlighten the uh, immune protective machinery and the immune uh, pathogenesis. And then his, his lab also uh, tried to investigate the interaction between the host cells and the virus, um, which also includes cell-based uh, HIV influenza, Zika virus, and then SARS-CoV-2 infection model. And then furthermore, his lab also tried to develop a vac vaccination strategies, a vaccine vectors, vaccine and the immune machines against infections which actually uh, uh, he, his lab really achieved a lot of fruit for uh, outcome, uh, including uh, develop a lot of uh, uh, novel vaccine vectors and the vaccine vaccination strategies. And lastly, uh, his lab also tried to develop new uh, therapeutics against the solid tumors, which I believe uh, we're going to hear a lot about uh, his uh, changing's uh, new uh, research progress on the uh, CAR T cells. So uh, it's, it's really a, a great pleasure to have Jianqing on our platform. And uh, we are very much looking forward to talk. Please uh, take your uh, stage, please go ahead. Uh, thank you very much for uh, Dr. Uh, Chuan invitation and also introduction. I think this is a very, very uh, good uh, introduction. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, the new uh, novel CAR-T, which is, uh, uh, you, as you know, usually T, uh, CAR T cells are triggered, uh, triggered by a membrane target. However, uh, we are trying to develop a new uh, CAR T which are uh, triggered by uh, tumor environment. Uh, I think this is probably we are improve our uh, efficacy for CAR T in the two solid tumor cells. Um, I'm going to uh, talk about uh, in three uh, aspects. The first, I'm going to overview uh, on the immune cell-based therapy. And the immune cell-based therapy could be traced back to 1955. Uh, Michison uh, started to, to use uh, adoptive cell uh, transfer to look at the T cells uh, efficacy against the tumor. What he has done is that uh, he uh, transferred uh, lymphocytes from, from the gene in, uh, tumor gene in lymph node and to a new mice. And then afterwards, he challenged the mice with the tumor cells. And 
observed uh, observe, observe there's a significant protection uh, by the uh, transferred T cells. So afterwards, I think uh, Stephen Rosenberg is a second figure who, who uh, uh, almost uh, spent his uh, life, uh, lifetime to work on the immune cell-based therapy against the tumor since 1984. Uh, he started a, we know uh, we know as a lock cells based uh, therapy and in 1986 he uh, also started to test the tear based uh, therapy then afterwards there's more uh, more uh, immune cells based therapy are uh, coming into our uh, people's attention uh, including CIK and and TCRT and uh, and also CAR T the CAR T cells in the first CAR T product was approved by American FDA in 1917, uh, which is uh, the targeting uh, B, B cell uh, B cell derived lymphoma, uh, and also the first one was uh, was was invented by Carl Jung. So, uh, so. This immune cell based therapy is also uh, was facilitated by the antibody based immune therapy, and in particular PD one antibody. After afterwards, um, after the PD one antibody are uh, get into the market uh, in nineteen in twenty thirteen, uh, the Science Journal put the immune therapy as uh, top one in the top ten scientific breakthrough in the year uh, two thousand thirteen. And in in 2017, there are two uh, CAR T products were approved by FDA for either acute acute lymphoma, acute lymphoma, lymphophatic lymphoma, or large B cell uh, lymphoma. So CAR T cells are uh, are T cells engineered to express express CAR. And what what is a CAR? CAR as as we know. It's a uh, it's a brief for a chimeric antigen receptor. Uh, CAR T cells, uh, you, you usually it's even the regular T cells are in, engineered to express a CAR. Uh, could uh, could uh, cure the target cells in a non MHC dependent manner, and uh, this CAR usually derived from uh, an antibody uh, through a single fusion protein of the variable uh, fragment from both a head heavy chain and a light chain. The car has been subjected to multiple uh, generation. The first generation usually uh, only on the outside of the membrane, uh, uh, there's an antibody derived the car while in intracellular part, it's a CD3 uh, Z uh, motif could, could initiate the killing. So uh, that's the first one. However, people have identified that the, the first generation CAR T cells are uh, are less proliferative uh, and also less uh, capacity to survive. Then after, afterwards, people by adding core stimulate, uh, stimulatory uh, motif to this uh, CD3 Z motif and, and, and uh, identified the T cells are able to uh, have a good proliferation capacity and also uh, able to survive better in, in vivo. So then, uh, this uh, uh, this observation stimulate people try to use more uh, cost stimulatory uh, motif adding to the CD3 uh, zeta motif to look at whether to test whether these T cells are able to be improved. However, even you have a really nice uh, proliferation and also uh, survive uh, when you when you go to the solid tumor T uh, solid tumor the tumor environment, the inhibitory tumor environment usually are, are uh, crippled the T cell uh, capacity to cure the target cells. So uh, that, that is why people start to add uh, other uh, cytokine or antibody into their CAR T cells, including such as like a PD-1 antibody and also interleukin uh, 12. Uh, this, this, uh, this, those, uh, those work, uh, those research uh, invite invite us to uh, to think about how to really overcome the environment problem for the tu solid tumor cells, tu solid tumor. 
So uh, the Cartier, uh, Cartier therapy was uh, made a huge successful in the blood tumors. And this, this is a review, uh, uh, review on the uh, Cartier therapy for the blood tumor and particularly for B cells derived tumor. And if you look at those numbers uh, for B cells acute uh, lympho, lymphoblastic uh, leukemia uh, for adults, uh, the response rate could reach to uh, above 90%. And even for other tumor, usually you, it's above 50%, which has never been made such a high successful in uh, by other, uh, by other uh, uh, approach. So the, the, this uh, CAR T cells really uh, encouraged people to further look at the solid tumor cell uh, therapy. So, however, when we when the CAR T cells move to the solid tumor, people uh, again people found there's uh, uh, many challenges. And you, when you look at uh, the CAR T effic uh, efficacy in the solid tumor, this is a, another review which published in 19, uh, 2019. And overall, there is only 9% of a response, uh, response rate for CAR-T therapy in solid tumor, uh, which summarized 22 clinical trials. So it's uh, pretty low, uh, and people are uh, get disappointed by such a low response rate. And there are, there are several challenges for the CAR-T in the uh, solid tumors, including uh, the safety concern, the effectiveness, and when you look at the CAR T for the uh, solid tumor, usually uh, when we develop CAR T, use uh, some uh, the tumor cell membrane target, such as, for example, EGFR and the CEA, HER2, whatever those, many of them are usually overlapped, overlapping expressed by the normal cells. So uh, that's, that, uh, that is, uh, could cause a killing uh, for the normal cells. Uh, people uh, there's a name called on target and of a tumor so, uh, toxicity so uh second is a uh, solid tumor there's an inhibitory immune uh, uh, environment there's a multiple uh, multiple inhibitory mechanism uh, existing in the tumor uh, in, in environment including uh, the well known pd1 and pd1 and also there's a uh, uh, regulatory T cells, uh, regulatory macrophage, uh, regulatory DC cells, and there's uh, uh, other secreting uh, cytokines such as TGF beta and I10. So there's multiple uh, in inhibitory uh, mechanism to inhibit T uh, CAR T cells. Even you have the chance to migrate into the solid tumor. So the, to uh, to improve the safety, uh, enhance the safety profile for CAR T, people designed several uh, approach. For example, uh, first uh, people are thinking uh, could use uh, induce CAR T cells for out, out killing to uh, improve the safety. And this, uh, there's a there's a, a review on the Nature Medicine uh, summarize uh, summarized several uh, strategy. For example. Uh, there's a HSV, uh, HSV TK gene uh, core expressed by the CAR T. Then you have have the uh, small molecule to induce induce this gene to kill the cell the cell self. And another way is use I uh, induced uh, case nine to uh, to induce uh, the the uh, 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 apoptosis, or use uh, use a tumor EGFR expressed on the CAR T cells and then the antibody could bind into uh, this EGFR in, uh, uh, induce uh, the, uh, killing by the effector cells. And there's another uh, another way for use uh, mRNA to express a CAR T. And this, uh, this will, uh, this will only, uh, only uh, lead to the tran transient expression of the CAR. Uh, could uh, could they, uh, avoid the persistent, persistent expression of the CAR? Uh, uh, so that uh, there's another uh, several strategy. For example, there's a multiple step activated CAR T, uh, including like uh, inhibitory CAR, uh, logic gated CAR, and on switch CAR or masked CAR. So there's many strategy people have tested to improve this uh, safety profile of the CAR T. And the uh, uh, I would like to uh, give a little bit more time to the, this is called a Sinochka. Sinochka, uh, usually there's a, 
uh, sequential use a sequential activation for uh, for improvement of the CAR T uh, CAR T cells. Uh, for example, if you have uh, the antigen A expressed on the tumor cells, which only stimulate the expression of the transcript uh, transcriptional factor, and why the transcription factor uh, uh, degraded from the stimulation, then go to the uh, go to the promoter activated the CAR expression. So including. Uh, by uh, this uh, uh, machine, actually, you can design uh, different uh, different uh, purpose or different uh, uh, target and improve the safety of the of the car. So in this case, at least you have the two uh, option. So usually, uh, if you have the two specific marker, one uh, one marker probably not specific enough for tumor. However, when you have the two marker, you 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 do have more choice. And also, there's another called the Lucen zipper based uh, CAR T, and this is a uh, this is this allowed us to uh, transfer between from one uh, one antibody to another. So if you, for example, if you target multiple uh, uh, multiple gene or multiple membrane protein, you can put the several uh, target molecule together into this CAR. Then this CAR could could uh, killing a different. Uh, the several different uh, target expressed uh, tumor cells. So uh, to improve the uh, effectiveness of the CAR-T, uh, I listed many different strategies. I'm not going to go one by one. Uh, if you uh, if people are interested in, the, in this strategy, could look, uh, could read the details in those uh, published paper. Uh, <clears throat> So, uh, however, solid tumor, there's a, a still uh, many challenges for the solid tumor therapy, and particularly in this micro environment. Uh, I, I listed three challenges. The first one is uh, for solid tumor, there's a still uh, no tumor specific target. Even uh, currently, uh, people think it's a re really good target for the uh, for the. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Uh, uh, clothing, clothing 18, 18.2. This, uh, this has been considered as a, a very good uh, target. However, in the clinical uh, trial, we still observed the high toxicity for the patient. So the, uh, for solid tumor, the specific target is always uh, the challenge for uh, different tumors. Second is uh, uh, a solid tumor usually uh, for T cells, for even for CAR T cells, it's harder to it's harder to um, to home it back to the tumor uh, solid tumor. So this is a constant constitute a second challenge. The third is uh, as I mentioned before, uh, the inhibitory uh, environment, which has a multiple mechanism to inhibit the T cells. Even you have the CAR T mi uh, migrate into the solid tumor, there are still several mechanisms are. Uh, are already uh, to to uh, to inhibit those T cells. So uh, so which uh, which actually uh, led us to further thinking how can we do better in the uh, for the solid tumor? Uh, as we know, solid tumor there's uh, um, issues or uh, there's uh, uh, challenges for for example. Uh, the solid tumor usually uh, it has uh, much less oxygen in the solid tumor because the tumor uh, tumor cells are uh, rapid proliferative, uh, proliferative cells and which uh, which use much more uh, oxygen than the normal tissues and that's that's why it also causes the exhaustion of the uh, oxygen and also the tumor uses this uh, uh, different way to uh, to generate the energy and could uh, could produce the uh, lactic acid, so that uh, that's a uh, uh, that's the the first challenge. When when T cells get into the uh, the hypo, uh, hypoxia environment, T cells functionally are uh, decreased. So we we actually uh, have uh, uh, determined the T cells fu function in vitro uh, in vitro system to mimic the uh, hypoxia. Environment and identified the T cell function usually are significantly inhibited, uh, suppressed by this environment. 
So as we know, the, uh, in uh, hypoxia uh, environment, uh, there's another uh, regulatory mechanism are able to be activated. Uh, in particular, the HIF-1 uh, system is a regulatory system. Uh, usually this system are good, uh, uh, we are responsive to uh, hypoxia uh, environment. And we probably can, could use this, uh, this system to regulate our CAR T cells. So the first uh, the first idea is uh, try to use the uh, two uh, elements, one called uh, HIF-1I for response element, another is uh, called oxygen dependent degradation domain. And this two probably could, uh, could uh, help us to do better uh, to, to overcome some of our challenges. The first is uh, we add the oxygen dependent degradation domain to the uh, CAR T uh, CAR. Uh, so use this ODD to regulate uh, regulate the car expression, and if you look at uh, uh, look at those data, uh, uh, for the regular car T in a different environment, all of them are expressed at a similar level. However, when you add ODD to the car, and those are cars are uh, subjected to the regulation of the ODD, and this is system. Uh, uh, in the in the normal uh, uh, no, no, environment, and this uh, structure only man, uh, marginally expressed. However, if you uh, put put those cells into uh, hypoxia environment, the ex expression uh, are improved. However, when you, whatever which car you uh, test it, and this system are not able to reach the level as a normal car. So. So uh, what, uh, even including the percentage or the intensity, both of them are uh, only able to express at a much uh, reduced level. So tell us on the ODD alone, it's, uh, it's uh, able to decrease uh, the car, but however, it's, it's not able to recover or re rescue those car in the, uh, in the uh, hypoxia environment. And uh, correspond uh, accordingly, if you look at the killing uh, uh, capacity, uh, this uh, ODD regulated uh, car are able, uh, are able to kill the target cells, however, at a much le uh, less level. And particularly when you look at the cells which are um, less sensitive, uh, then you have a much less uh, 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 capacity to kill. So you look at the regular kit, uh, regular CAR T able to reach over eighty percent. However, our uh, our ODD regulated car only able to reach sixty percent. So uh, those CAR T, those CAR Ts, uh, sorry, the, the, those CAR Ts are are sorry. Uh, uh, give me one uh, one minutes. So when you look at uh, when you further uh, tested uh, look at uh, the other for example for two uh, target again this uh, cytotoxicity toxicity are much uh, much decreased. So then this CAR T uh, when you further tested this CAR T in uh, in vivo for the uh, sensitive uh, tumor cells and this CAR T are able to reach a similar killing uh, as a normal CAR T. However, if you uh, tested in the uh, tumor cells, which are resi uh, resistant to killing, then this new CAR T R uh, only controlled much uh, less, not as effective as the regular CAR T cells, which uh, which tell us it's not good enough. So second, we are thinking how we can improve this CAR T. Then we add another element, which is uh, HRE, this uh, HIF one I for response element to uh, plus ODD try to improve our CAR-T. Uh, when we tested this uh, new uh, con uh, construct and then used two different target, um, HER2 and AXR as our target, the regular CAR-T they are able to express at a similar level in the different environment. For, and then our, uh, our ODD regulated one, uh, it's able to induce, but at a less level, uh, which, uh, which is, uh, uh, as our our pre previous data showed, uh, much decreased. And however, when you look at our new uh, structure, and this uh, new structure are able to improve much better. So when you look at uh, whatever mimic uh, 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 hypoxia uh, 
use uh, use the CO, uh, COC L2 or 1% of oxygen. Both of them are able to induce a, a good expression of the uh, car. But uh, again, it's not as good as a regular car. So uh, well, compared to our first uh, first one, which is ODD alone uh, regulated car, it's a really good improvement. So then we look at uh, uh, the site toxicity. If you look at uh, the site toxicity compared to the different uh, different cell uh, line, if you look at the scope three cells, then uh, this is a regular uh, regular car and ODD regulated, and this is a chimeric uh, regulated car. And we do see uh, an, improvement, an improvement, but uh, this is uh, only a, a slight improvement. When you look at uh, uh, the NCI H292 cells, which are only has low HER2 expression and more resistant to killing, then these differences are really uh, big. So you look, look at this ODD alone and also chimeric regulated car, this is, has a much better improved and almost close to the regular uh, regulatory car. And in, uh, in this case, uh, when, you, when you test it in vivo, and these two, uh, this two, uh, this two car, particularly the new structured, uh, new structured car, uh, able to exert a very similar cytotoxicity to the tumor cells in vivo uh, uh, compared to the regular car. When, when you look at a different cell line uh, uh, based tumor, uh, whatever you, you, uh, you use uh, these two, uh, two cells, the one is the SCOF, another is NCI, and both of them are able to, our new structure has a similar, uh, similar uh, uh, efficacy compared to the regular car. So, so when uh, this car are uh, improved compared to ODG alone regulated car. However, uh, although both of them are able to, uh, to do the hypoxia indu inducible expression and also uh, in, uh, the HRE plus ODD improved the hypoxia indu uh, inducible expression of the car and the cy cytotoxicity. However, both of them are has a minor expression or minor cytotoxicity at an anomosal, which may remain, uh, remain has uh, on target of tumor cytotoxicity. So we are thinking how we can uh, further improve this, uh, uh, this uh, structure. So uh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> by uh, this, uh, this new chimeric to regulate uh, uh, car expression, instead we are thinking if we are use this structure to regulate a transcript factor, then let the transcription factor to regulate the ex expression car. And through this way, we probably able to further improve the, uh, our, our uh, the, the CAR T cells. So we start to design the, uh, uh, the element or the machine of the, uh, of the new uh, car. And first we designed on the, on the trans activator and also respond to element. And this, uh, this uh, trans activator able to bind into the UAS, the, uh, this domain designed for binding of the, uh, of the trans, uh, trans activator. And once you have the trans, uh, expression of the uh, activator, then able to bind into this uh, UAS domain. And UAS domain will further activate uh, the, our, our target gene expression. And in the first case, we use a uh, uh, cherry uh, to test whether this, uh, this will uh, activator and the respond element, or whether they are working or not. So uh, when we tested, uh, tested this system, if you only have the responding uh, response element, usually you have a really low expression of the target gene. And particularly in this case, in the USA LTR, the, uh, uh, the long terminal region, uh, the long terminal region from a retrovirus, only give a really low background. If you look at this uh, positive cells, it's only mar really mar very marginal uh, uh, baseline expression of the uh, target gene. And once you have a double expressed, you own a co-express the activator, and then you have a much better expression. Uh, if, when you look at this uh, again, this uh, this USA LTR, this uh, this structure give a much higher expression of the target gene. So this seems are really a, a good uh, combination, has a very, very low uh, 
uh, background and have a pretty very high expression, then this is going to give an example. If you do uh, multiple experiment, all of those experiment showed this uh, have a very uh, different way, different uh, different pattern for this uh, uh, combination. This is the FZP for VP of 64 and uh, the long term uh, long terminal region as our minimal promoter uh, combined with you know, our uh, our designed uh, responding element. So this is uh, we use we take this two uh, together and to to further test it whether we when we uh, use another uh, uh, HRE to regulate the expression of the transcriptional uh, factor, and we did we find we find this uh, HRE RTR able to uh, very nicely regulate this uh, uh, transcript uh, transcription fact, uh, factor expression. So uh, after all, uh, we uh, tested uh, those uh, elements are working. Then we fixed them, assembled them together into our CAR T cells. And the final structure uh, look at like this and use uh, uh, use our, our HRE plus ODD to regulate this uh, transcriptional factor. And this after the expression of this transcription, transcription factor, this will bind into this uh, domain, the UAS domain, and this uh, this domain will activate all the expression of the all, our target car. So that's uh, the, our final constructor for the car T assembled all of uh, element together. And the, as a control, the regular car T cells uh, work as our control, used as our control. And the car T itself, we designed use a regular uh, structure to design our model CAR-T that's the use of HER2 as our model target. Uh, first, we tested whether this uh, our CAR-T able to express you know, expressed in the uh, hypoxia environment. And when you look at uh, the uh, these two, uh, two uh, sequential uh, envir different environment, we put our T-cells sequentially in different environment. And when you look at the hypoxia, regular T, regular T cells are able to uh, consistently express its CAR T, and why our CAR T are induced by uh, in the hypoxia uh, environment, and then rapidly decreased after you you uh, switch cells into the uh, normal uh, uh, normal cell uh, environment, and you even well, whatever when you look at the percentage of the CAR T expression, or you look at the CAR intens intensity. Uh, both of them are able to induced in the uh, hypoxia environment and decreased in the uh, normal cell environment. And uh, after we tested in the cell line, we further tested this uh, regulatory uh, mechanism in the uh, primary T cells. So we use uh, the primary T cells from uh, five donor. And when you look at uh, the tested uh, this uh, system in this uh, primary T cells, uh, four of them are showed very uh, really low background and then inducible in the hypoxia environment. And one only one donor has a, a, a low background, but all, uh, interestingly, this uh, CAR T or system are able to greatly induced in this, uh, uh, this, uh, this person. So when you look at uh, look at this different uh, compare this different uh, in, in the inducible uh, folder change, uh, usually we are able to uh, reach uh, reach <clears throat> uh, reach this, uh, between like uh, more than one hundred uh, folder change, and uh, this encouraged us to move forward so in, to test the uh, the function, and when you look at the function and uh, or again, those five donors, you look at uh, uh, the production of the interleukin-2 or interferon gamma after stimulation, uh, use HER2 expression uh, target cells to stimulate our, uh, our CAR-T. And uh, both of them, uh, interleukin-2 and interferon, interferon gamma, uh, almost all, none of them are produced in the normal cell uh, environment. And they are, they are only induced in the uh, hypoxia environment. Uh, although they are induced at a different level. Uh, again, this uh, donor five has a background at, at the normal cell uh, environment and also induced, the, the nicely induced in the, in the hypoxia. And when you look at the killing of the, uh, those T cells, 
uh, look uh, for the normal uh, for the normal uh, regular CAR T, uh, the, the killing are uh, are very comparable or similar between this uh, normal and hypoxia environment. However, for our CAR T at the normal uh, environment, they only have a marginal uh, site toxicity at uh, for uh, at a different uh, uh, ratio of the effect to target cells, and also uh, and we could see a good increase in the hypoxia environment. So it's tell us whatever uh, cytokine production or site toxicity or CAR T are really uh, inducible and the hypoxia environment. And then we further to test whether uh, our construct are able to improve the safety profile or in vivo. Uh, we uh, we uh, generate a mod uh, one model use uh, use a dinovara uh, vector to express her two uh, target in the liver uh, liver cells, and then uh, put our uh, CAR T or regular CAR T into the mice to look at whether uh, the liver cells are able to be are to be cured or not. So the only uh, we only see the cytotoxicity to the liver cells is a regular CAR T, which is driven by EF1 IF promoter. While our CAR T, uh, our CAR T, we we do not observe any uh, cytotoxicity to the liver cells, whatever AST or ART, and also we don't observe any decrease of the weight for our CAR T, but we do see an increase, a significant decrease. Uh, of the weight for the uh, regular CAR T cells after the infusion. Then we further look at uh, the you know, expression of the HER2 in the liver. Uh, in the liver, so when you, uh, if you of course, if you without uh, uh, without the adenovirus, uh, liver cells don't have any expression of the HER2. And once you have the HER2, then uh, you use uh, control uh, control the, those. Uh, HER2 expression are continued in the liver cells and also continued in the regular T cells. And similarly for our CAR T, however, when you infused uh, the regular CAR T, since this CAR T are able to cure the liver uh, uh, liver cells, which expression HER2, then eliminate those uh, positive cells. You do see a decrease of the HER2 positive cells after infusion of the regular CAR T, but, uh, uh, but uh, uh, after the infusion of our uh, our CAR T, we do not see the uh, different uh, compared to the control. So you, uh, when you look at the uh, cytokine uh, expression in the uh, in the uh, uh, serum, and our CAR T gave a very similar pattern and the level of the car of the cytokine expression. When you look at uh, when you look at uh, uh, those uh, interleukin two, interleukin four, interleukin six, interleukin ten. And and you do see a much higher uh, production of the side kind for the regular CAR T, and also you see the there's a, a, a cell infiltration into the liver and uh, shows blue cells in uh, blue doors in the liver uh, region. So we all of this uh, uh, data tell us the regular CAR T cells able to cure the liver cells if you, if the liver cells engineered to express its target. For our case, it's HER2. And uh, why our CAR T do not cure the uh, liver cells, even our CAR T recognize our targeted HER2, but uh, uh, in the in, uh, regular environment, our CAR T are not activated. So that's, uh, I think, this, uh, this data tells us. And then we further examine, uh, examine the, uh, the CAR T uh, uh, expression in different region, in different tissue. When you look at the blood, uh, this is GFP since our CAR T expression, uh, also expression GFP. When you look at the GFP positive T cells, we do see our GFP positive T cells uh, appeared in the blood, lung, spring, or liver. Then they do show up in those tissues. However, our CAR, they are negative. So which tells us even our CAR T uh, appeared into those tissues. Uh, as those tissue uh, are normal, uh, normal, uh, normal cell environment, our CAR T cells are not activated. And when you look at the, the regular CAR T cells, once you have the GFP positive cells, you do have the CAR positive cells. So uh, uh, GFP expression and CAR T expression are similar. So we further tell us our CAR T are not activated or not expressed in the uh, normal cell environment. And this, this is further tell us, shows those data. Uh, as our example uh, exemplified here. 
So then we further do the staining, uh, the in, infra, uh, infra resins in the staining uh, assay. So when you look at the CD3 uh, stain T cells and car, uh, car cells, then we merge together. Then you look at uh, look at the regular CAR T cells. And those are CD3 and CAR. They are co uh, co stained in the liver region. And why our our CAR T in the uh, in the uh, liver, even you have uh, several or uh, the T cells, but we don't see any CAR expression. So which tell us even the T cell uh, T cells show up in the liver if if this is a the more cell environment or CAR. Our CAR T do not express express our CAR. So then we further did uh, did a one experiment. We uh, what we do is whether our CAR T has a cytotoxicity against tumor. We we showed no cyto uh, there's no cytotoxicity against liver cells. Even the liver cells express the the target. So the the, whether, uh, the question will be over whether our CAR T has a cytotoxicity in vivo. So first the experiment we tested. Uh, use uh, uh, in, uh, inoculate the tumor cell line which express HER2. Then afterwards, subsequently, we infused uh, either regular CAR T cells or or our CAR T cells, and then monitored the tumor uh, tumor growth. So when you look at uh, uh, look at those uh, uh, data uh, for N NCI uh, H2922 uh, cell line. Uh, our CAR T has a similar a similar efficacy compared to regular one, and also for the SCOP three cells, there a comparable efficacy between between our CAR T and the regular CAR T, which tell us our CAR T are able to kill tumor cells in vivo. So they are not kill kill the liver cells, but then they are able to kill the tumor cells. And when you look at the real data, they are. Uh, there are two mice. Uh, actually, there's a uh, two mice are uh, eliminate the tumor, but uh, three of them is, uh, has a much smaller tumor growth compared to the control. Uh, the regular CAR T cells are a little bit better for the uh, for the tumor. And this is a two system. Then we further combine these two. Uh, oh, sorry, and we further co confirm that. Uh, uh, the tumor environment they do uh, they are, really are a hypoxia environment. And we use a probe to test to look at the tumor environment. This is a tumor staining for a, a hypoxia probe uh, uh, staining. The, the red region, the red area are showed hypoxia uh, region. So then we com combine these two model together. So we, ex uh, we use the same mice uh, express her two uh, in in the liver cells and also inoculate the tumor cell line which express her two. So put these two model together. Put the uh, put the uh, uh, two expressed in the liver and also her two expressed in the uh, cell line tumor cell line. Uh, both of them are in the same mice. And then we infused back the uh, regular CAR T over T cells. Again, we only uh, uh, identified liver toxicity uh, after the infusion of the regular CAR T, uh, either by two different transformers, uh, uh, AST or ART. And also there's decrease for the weight uh, uh, for the regular CAR T infusion. And then, then we further look, sorry, we further look at uh, the appearance of the CAR T in different tissues. Uh, when you examine the, the liver, spleen, and tumor, and in liver and tumor, there's only regular T cells appeared in those tissue. By uh, in the tumor, both of the CAR T and also regular CAR Ts are appeared in this uh, uh, tumor. So again, tell us in this different uh, in the same model when we combine these two model, our our CAR T only expressed in the in the tumor area in the tumor region uh, environment, not in the regular tissues in the environment. Then again, when you look at the tumor control, and this uh, this two model, uh, our CAR TR has a very similar comparable uh, efficacy uh, with the regular CAR T cells. So overall, we are, we are uh, thinking our system, we call the high time, high time system, it, it's also come, uh, uh, com almost completely silent at the normal cell environment. And this is the most restrained system so far. 
and high the CAR T is highly safe and retain the anti-tumor activity. And this system may we are, we are thinking probably will be very useful for develop safe and effective CAR T to treat a solid, solid tumor. So currently we are uh, further look uh, move into uh, move into the product development. And this is my group uh, um, two students particularly working on this uh, program. One is uh, uh, Huan He, another is uh, Chi Bing, and these two uh, talent students. Uh, 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 I think they did a really good job for this uh, this project. And there's also also other uh, other students will continue to work on this project. And, and also, I would like to thank uh, acknowledge my uh, my collaborators in the uh, past more than uh, ten years. Uh, thank you very much for your attention.